Good evening, and thank you for joining us for our prayerful service of evening compline this Thursday, January 13th, here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City. Our compline service is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, or you can join along and follow us with the Book of Common Prayer. And an order of service was sent out earlier this evening, indicating the pages that we'll be using. As always, we ask you to leave us some kind of a comment or reaction so that we know that you are here praying with us so that we can pray with and for you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name, amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number four, and we will say this together. Please join me. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear me. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our word this evening comes from the book of Jeremiah. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Please join me now for the prayer responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, 
and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. I ask especially this day, I lift up St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, beseeching you to continue to guide, guard, and protect us, and give us your abundant grace and blessing as we do your ministry and mission in this place. Gracious God, I lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those with urgent and ongoing needs, most especially Adam and Kevin. Gracious God, this day I pray for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for Kelly, for David, for Becky and Mike, for John and David, for Alexa and Lauren. I pray for Enid, and I pray for Jan. I pray for Bob and Dee and Adam, for Haley, Morgan and Emma, for Bo and Patty, for Kevin and Cindy, for Kyle, Jordan, Jamie, and Ryan. Are there others to be named? Please join me now as we recite together the Song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we thank you for joining us for Thursday Compline here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. And we beseech you to continue to take care of yourselves, particularly in these trying and tumultuous times and with the rise of the Omicron virus. Please take care of yourselves. Watch out for yourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to those you haven't heard from in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters, we can get through this if we do it together, supporting each other, being there for each other. I bid you a good night. May God be with you this evening, and God bless.